fellow couponers. Today I'm going to do a review of Swagbucks in 2018. We're seven months into the year, so I figured it'd be a good time to do it. I have a previous 2017 review here on another channel of mine called Floppy Cats uh, because we were doing a $5,000 Swagbuck giveaway at that point. And so I did a review there and a person commented... Um, could you do a 2018 version update? So this is it. So first off, if you want to use our Floppy Cats code, you can do that. Just double click it, copy it, and then head over to Swagbucks. You'd enter your email address. Mine is starts with Stife1001, and then your password. Um, and then if you have a sign up code, you click that little thing. You hit paste, and you click sign up now. Since I'm already a member, we'll go ahead and just log in. All right. So once you're in, there is a lot going on and a lot to choose from. Where I like to start my day is with this to-do list. And this daily crave is something I actually start right in, immediately at the beginning of the day on my laptop. And you can just hit start earning. And it will start... <laughs> playing videos and whatnot that will earn you money. Um, sometimes it allows it to do it in the background, but I just run it while I'm brushing my teeth. So that's that one, and I've already gotten um, the checkpoint for that. Second is the daily poll. How do you feel about public proposals? Um, I don't really care. That's up to the couple. So that got me one point, as you can see here. And then going back to, you can do a daily search. Sometimes this doesn't yield results right away. Um, when you search on Swagbucks for anything, like if you search the, SWAT, the web for, let's say, Floppy Cats, which is that other channel and website that I have, then, you know, it's going to bring up Floppy Cats. But when you win, you can see there's usually a Swagbuck um, icon here that says how much money you've won. So you can keep trying on that daily search. Um, daily discover is one click and gets you a point very quickly. You just have to look at all the discover options here. Um, oh no, sorry. Deal of the day is the one that gets you with one click. That's it. Discover, you have to complete one of the discover offers. Daily watch is all of the videos that they have available for you to watch if you want. So for example, um, you know, if you wanted to earn two swag bucks, you could watch all these daily ones on gun control. Um, and you only actually have to watch them for a certain amount of seconds. Um, and then it will, you can go on to the next video and this little bar tracks how far you've gotten. All right, back to the home page. I'll refresh. So right now we've got the Daily Watch, Daily Discover. Um, we have yet to complete Attempt a Gold Survey. So surveys are kind of difficult. Um, it it depends. You have to be honest. You have to be truthful or they'll, they'll take away your opportunity to access them and be able to, to do them. But let's go ahead and do this four-minute survey. All right, I entered my birth date. I went ahead and made that private, though, so that the whole world doesn't know my birthday. Um, and then you're going to answer these questions. You don't have to answer those if you don't want to. I try not to. So you just go through and answer these questions, and sometimes it allows you to complete the survey, and sometimes it doesn't. And that's when it's really aggravating when you've spent like 10 minutes and it tells you you don't qualify. Okay, guys, I have been disqualified for two surveys now. So you can see that my attempt for a gold survey is checked because I've been disqualified for two. Um, and you can also see how much I've earned today. I've earned eight extra care, uh, sorry, swag bucks. My goal is 90. And then if I complete this extra bit here, I have a bonus of seven. So the extra bit is 140. Uh, and I have 13 hours and 22 minutes to get to that point. 
Okay, guys, this is when a survey is complete. It took me... Uh, oh, nope, it's not complete. <laughs> That's the other thing about... I really can't stand the surveys. A lot of people love them, like to do them before they go to bed to relax them. They just irritate the hell out of me because I just spent five minutes doing that survey and then um, I get this... Not every survey could be a winner, but here's one swag buck. Um, so... And now I've reached my daily max for disqualifications, so I won't get any more, but I'm at 13 uh, swag bucks, and I'm also working the watch thing at the same time on, on another tab, and also was doing that um, daily crave in this um, other tab while I was doing the surveys, so that's good, I guess. Okay, so if we go up, I wanted to show you how... Um, you know, how well Swagbucks has done for me. And if you use my referral link, that helps as well. So here is everything that I have done today, 721. I got referral from somebody that, swag that signed up underneath me. So once you start, you know, growing your Swagbucks team, if you will, um, then you can get referrals from other people that have signed up and that are actively using the site. So to those of you who use my referral code, thank you very much. And I hope that you can build a team as well. And the easiest way to do that, honestly, is to create YouTube videos and teach people how to use swag bucks. So if you teach yourself to use it first, all the better. Um, these are the in crave that I've done, that daily pull. Here are all the survey disqualifications. Um, another daily crave. And this was a, a swag code that came out today. And when there is a swag code out, you get a notification um, on your... They have apps that you can use in accordance with your swag bucks. And that app will set, send you a push notification about any swag bucks that are going on or swag codes that are going on. And once you have that swag code, you copy it and you just paste it in here. This is gonna say it's already redeemed because it is already redeemed, but that's where you can redeem them or you can download the, the browser bar for Swagbucks and uh, redeem it there. So you guys can see that I have a lifetime of 559,589 Swagbucks. Well, there are um, 100 swag bucks to a dollar. So I have earned, in the lifetime of having swag bucks, I've earned $5,595.89 in swag bucks. Um, and I mostly redeem them for gift cards to Amazon or Target or Walmart um, to get food. <laughs> so you can also donate them and Today, I have 22,805 swag bucks. So, we could redeem a gift card for that, and I can show you how to do that. So, if you want to redeem your swag bucks for a gift card or anything else, you, you go to that redeem on the side there. Then you have all sorts of options. You can do, um, you know, 10, 15. So I could I could get two ten dollar gift cards with the twenty two eighty five. Um, what I usually like to do, like if this was the beginning of the month, it's the twenty first of the month. But the beginning of the month, I like to get a twenty five dollar Amazon gift card because it's reduced to twenty two thousand swag bucks. Um, I've already I think I've already redeemed it. Yes, available next month. So now I just do like two ten dollar gift cards. I might do two to Amazon or one to, to Target and you just click on Amazon, you click redeem and then you have to verify it. You can ask them to send you an email or answer a security question. I usually just answer my security question so I get one less email. And then once you've answered it, you can see that it says verified. So, and then my swag bucks has reduced to 1285. So I'll probably do it again. This time I might do the Walmart one. So this is verified. Um, I don't ever do any of this stuff. The HelloFresh sign up for emails to get a $50 credit. No. 
that's all promotional stuff. So now I have 310 swag bucks left and I can build those back up today by doing all these activities, including the um, watch the videos, which I've been doing in the background and the Encrave in the background. What else? Another thing that I, as a couponer, definitely use is this shop tab. And then I do grocery coupons. So these are coupons.com coupons, but they're printed through Swagbucks. And when you print a coupon, you get 10 Swagbucks for each coupon that you redeem at a uh, local grocery store, CVS, Target, Walmart, whatever. So if I were to pr print this coupon, I would get one swag bucks per coupon print with, with a maximum of 100 swag bucks. So you can only print 100 to get your 100 swag bucks. But if I also took it to the store and got a single serving of original Greek yogurt light and fit, then I would get 10 swag bucks, which is really cool. Um, and as a couponer, if you're already doing this anyway, printing from coupons.com, then go ahead and print these. Um, and use them. It's kind of a nice surprise for me every time because I'm like, oh yeah, I, I did, I, I did that, you know, couponing deal, and I got some shout, and so then all of a sudden, I will have um, ten swag bucks in my account, and sometimes my daily goal can even be met because I'll have like seventy or eighty um, swag bucks that I get back. Another option for shop is to, it's kind of comparable to Ebates, which if you've seen it on TV, it's about getting money back for shopping on certain websites. And it's the same concept here. Um, if you were to go to vitacost.com, which is basically all of the ingredients on in the center aisles of Whole Foods, you can shop. You click on this and then hit shop now. It redirects you to Vitacost. Um, and then let's say you spend 50 bucks at Vitacost, obviously not including shipping and taxes, like 50 bucks of pure product, then you're going to get a hundred swag bucks when this goes through. And an example of that is I shopped at North Face earlier this month, I actually used a gift card, so I didn't spend $140, but swag bucks thinks I did. So I'm going to get $281 for or 281 swag bucks, which is $2 and 81 cents back from that purchase. And that it will credit on to my account on uh, 820, as you can see there. If you are in the survey section, for example, another way to earn a quick two uh, swag bucks is to answer these survey profile 10 questions and and once you've answered all of them then it will reward you the two swag bucks which I had when I first started recording this section of the video but it's since disappeared um, it will give me the opportunity to answer you know the next eight over the next couple of days probably but usually it's about two to four a day that you can get there so now we're at 15 for swag bucks earned today Okay guys, finally got through all of the watch 22 videos and I earned two swag bucks um, when that happened. And so sometimes it will auto play onto the next one or you can go back to watch home. So we should be 17, 19, yes. Um, and choose another series of videos to go through if you want. So if you're at a computer all day long, this is a great way just to earn some money in the background. Um, so I could go into these and of course you can watch these videos as well. I just have watched them so many times that, um, I don't need to watch them again. And I'm still working on that end crave in the background. All right, guys, I finally com com completed a survey, got 45 swag bucks. And so it will stay there when you do that it's completed. And so that's the beautiful thing about a survey is your daily goal meter goes up exponentially um, from completing that. So now I'm only, what, 26 points away from meeting my daily goal. 
Um, when you meet your daily goals and you do it for seven days in a row, um, they'll give you a 25 swag buck bonus, but that is at the beginning. So right now it's July and August, like fourth or fifth, it will give you an opportunity to redeem that extra bonus. And obviously if you do it for a month, um, you can get up to 300 swag buck bonus. I used to really try hard to get these. Um, but now I, I'm like, why am I killing myself for $3? So I don't do it anymore. Um, let's, I was going to see if, okay. So you can see in June, I got the 25. Oh man, too many little uh, options here to toggle. All right. March, I got the, that, well, I'm not going to go through it since it wants to keep clicking off, but Anyway, that's an option, and that's why you might want to try at earning your daily goal. All right, guys, I also wanted to mention about referring friends. So you said, or you saw that when I went over here to my activity that I had a referral uh, swag buck. Where'd it go? You can probably see it before I can. Oh, man referral right here from Tina stuff, whatever all those numbers are. Um, so if you want to invite friends and get friends on board, all you need to do is go to referrals here. Um, you can see that I have several and starting in 2010. So when I showed my lifetime swag bucks, that's when I started. It's been eight years, um, to accumulate that many. And if I try it harder, I'm sure I could. So I have 1,288 referrals, um, and so to invite more friends, all you have to do is click on that, and then you'll get 300 swag bucks for each friend that, that signs up, and I think they have to complete uh, maybe a task, but you also get 10% of their earnings for life, which is what that you know one swag buck I showed earlier. Um, was for me. Okay. So you can send via email. You can share your link. Don't take your link and post it on my videos or anybody else's videos. It's just going to be marked as spam really quickly, but you could share on your Facebook. Um, you could tweet it. You could post it on Tumblr. Um, you can also post these banners if you have a website. So those are great ways to get, um, referrals. And obviously, um, you get three, $3 basically when they sign up. Another way that I go about getting swag bucks, which is kind of in line with what I was talking about on the shop and then the Vitacost thing, uh, is let's say it's eBay, right? So I'm going to make a purchase on eBay. So I'm going to get 1% cash back. Well, if I know the item I'm buying on eBay is 50 bucks, I also know at the same time that swag bucks sells a, um, I can buy an eBay gift card through their My Gift Cards Plus. And so if I go to buy gift cards and I get a hundred swag bucks on back in addition to what they are right now offering, um, on certain ones. So eBay might not be, hold on, I'm just going to search for it. Okay. So here's eBay. So if I were to buy a $50 gift card, I'm going to get 50 swag bucks back plus the, um, what I'm going to get if I shop through here. So first, first you want to buy the gift card here. So you're going to add a cart, do your login, buy all that. Right. And then you're going to want to go back through the shop, click on eBay and then click through to shop now, click shop and then pick whatever, um, or, you know, find the item that you were going to buy and then use that gift card that you got. Sometimes the gift card, um, as you can see here, has the um, three-hour delay for delivery. Uh, so, you know, just time it out correctly. Also, sometimes, as it said here, they offer these specials. So sometimes you could buy that eBay gift card and they'll be offering a hundred swag bucks bonus on eBay. So if you time it out right, you could get an extra dollar back by using that. 
Um, what I like is like look at Zappos. When you buy a Zappos gift card through my gift cards plus, um, you get you know seven point five cash back, so you get three hundred and seventy five swag bucks back rather than the fifty that you would get through eBay. So anytime I'm buying something online and I know I'm definitely going to spend that amount and probably not going to return it, I go ahead and buy a gift card through my gift cards plus, which is a swag book company, and then go ahead and try to buy it through the shop home stuff too. Hope that makes sense. Please let me know if you have any questions about that. There's this option now too, where you can buy swag bucks, which I... I'm not on board with because 200 swag bucks equals $2, 500 swag bucks equals $5. And then 10,000 swag bucks equals 11 or equals $10. So you're paying more to buy that. And I just don't, I, I don't get the point of that. But if anyone has any insight, please let me know. Okay, guys, it's much later now. I haven't finished the video yet, so um, I just did a search for please because I want to go to bed, and um, I got the 11 extra or swag bucks, and if you hit claim my swag bucks, then you'll earn that 11, and now, yay, finally at my goal. So we'll go back to activity, and you can see there, oh, that from searching the web, I got 11, and then um, from July spin and win, I was also granted um, doubling my searching the web points, which is great. So this has to do with Swago, which is a contest that happens once or twice a month on Swagbucks. It's not going on right now, but um, it's basically a game of bingo, if you will, and you fill in the squares and then... Um, you end up, you know, if you get any row or if you get the full board, you get usually 500 swag bucks. I think they just have these in as defaults. So hopefully that makes sense. So there you have it, kids. I love swag bucks. It is totally legit. As you can see from what I shared earlier, I have earned over um, almost $5,600 from swag bucks and have used it for years to get my um, toiletries for free, get my grocery produce for free, and I love it. I use it every single day, and when I travel, I um, kind of hate that I can't have it running in the background wherever I go. Let me know if you have any questions in the About section below, and if you have any tips or tricks on what you do, please share them as well. I use some of the Swagbucks apps, not all of them, not on a daily basis anymore because they started being funky for me, but the mobile apps are down here and you can see that there are several, they have a Swag IQ, which is like that game that happens at seven o'clock every night um, where people can answer trivia questions and be entered to win. There's, I have this one, the watch. I have an answer. I have the regular Swagbucks one. I have not tried Swagbucks Bowling, the shop, movie clips. I have this one, um, which is the Sportly, which just shows videos of sports. And sometimes that this Swago board requires you to complete a task on one of the apps. So that's why I ever use the apps anymore. I don't really use them that often. Thanks again for watching. I'll include my referral link in the about section as well as the comment section, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.